Hi everyone, welcome to another Python GIS tutorial. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about, I'm going to show you how you can use Python and QGIS to batch process some raster operations. So I know in most of my videos I talk about how the great thing about using Python for your GIS analyses is that you can batch process things and run them over and over again and have automation that way. Um, but I haven't really showed you how we can do that yet, so we're going to do that today with the slope function. First, let's go over and I'm just going to close the Python console first. I'm going to grab and add in all these different DEMs I have over here, and we'll take a look at them. So I'm just going to drag those over. And we'll go over to Layers. It's going to take a sec to add these, and I'll probably have to click some buttons. And let's just see, these should all be in approximately the same location. So we've got our regular NED 10 meter. We've got this one, which is, let's take a look at this. Information. It has a different extent, so this is in different coordinates. Um, we're, we'll keep it in, even though we're not going to really worry about it. We have this one that's been altered with one of our analyses. We have this one that's been clipped. So it's going to be just a, I think it's just that. Yes, we have that one that's clipped to just that little area. We have one that's clipped to the watershed boundary. We have one that's been subtracted. So it has totally different values. We have one that had the no data changed in one of our other videos. And then we have these here. Okay. So we're just going to do a batch process that runs slope on every one of these rasters and then it will add them into um, a new folder. Okay, so we'll remove those layers and now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go in and create that new folder. Um, so this is on my C drive and my temporary folder down here. There it is. And elevation. And let's make a new folder called slope output. Okay. So I'm going to go back over to QGIS, um, open the Python console back up, start a new script, and We'll make a variable outdoor output directory, which will be C, temp, elevation, slope, output. I want to make sure I did slope output, not slope outputs. Yep, there we go. And now let's make our inder equals C, temp, elevation. Okay. We're going to need to add an import up here, import OS. Um, which this gives us some file management options. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go to this ender input directory. We want to loop through all the files. If they are a TIFF file, so a geographic raster file, we want to run this slope function on them. And we'll run just this QGIS slope function that we created earlier. So let's copy that. And if you haven't seen this, I'll put a link of a card up in the top to the slope calculation video that I did. And I'm going to paste that function right in there. Okay. And so then down here, this is where we're going to loop through our folder and our files. Okay. So before I start writing the code here, I just want you to know this is the code to do this with Python version 3. And I'm using Python version 3.7. Okay, so if you have errors with this code, it could be because you're using a uh, older version of Python or a different version, probably Python 2. Okay, so just make sure um, if this code doesn't work, check your Python version for QGIS, make sure it's 3.7. Um, and we can go check this right up here just so that you know what's going on. Um, let's click about and let's just look for it right here. 
Okay, I don't see it here, but here's what we can do. Go to your console here, type import sys, and then type sys.version, enter, and you can see here it tells me I'm using Python 3.7. Okay, so run this code here if you're not sure what Python version you're using or if you get errors. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here now is make a directory. This is going to be os.fs encode. This is going to encode um, ender as a directory the OS can read and iterate through. Then we want to loop through each file. So we're going to do for file in os.list.dir, list directory, put in directory. Now we want to get the file name. We're going to do file name equals os .fs encode file. And now we want to check if that file name is a TIFF file. So if os, let's see, let me just check this, os dot ends with tif, okay. We're going to have to put a file name in there. Let me just double check my notes. So this will be if file name ends with dot tiff colon. Then we want to run slope QGIS. We're going to need to give it an input file name which is going to be file name. Um, our output file name we can leave as a temporary file for the moment, but we'll write some code in here um, that updates this. Oh, sorry, this we need to update this just a little bit. So we need to make an out file name. So we'll call it outfn equals os.path.join. So this is going to give us directory file name. So this is going to give us a new file name that we can out that we can use as the input. That's going to be the file in the directory. Okay, and so we've got that there. Now, or sorry, this should be our input file name, not our output. In file name. Now let's work on just creating a simple automatic output file name. So let's um, make a directory that we call file num. File number will make it equal to one. Every time we print out a slope raster, we're going to increase file number plus equals one. Okay, so that means after we print out our first slope raster, this file number is going to increase to two. And after our second one is going to increase to three. So here what we can do is we can do out fn. It's going to equal os.path.join. We'll put it in the same directory, or we need to give it um, let's just do this. Let's do our out fn name is going to equal slope plus string of file num plus dot tiff. Okay. So that's going to give us slope, a number, dot tiff. And let's actually just call this, we'll just call this out fn right there. Let's update it now. We can actually do this right here. So we can do our out, that's our file, so sorry. This is our file name. Now let's just add the output directory onto that, which we have up here, which is our out dir plus, and we just need to put a forward slash in here. And now we have our output file name. Sorry, I got a little mixed up in there. We have our output file name here, which is our output directory, which we have find here, plus slope, plus the file number, 
plus the extension .tiff. Okay, so now in our slope QGIS, we have our input file name, and now we can type our output file name. And we have up here this add iFace, which determines if that will get added to the QGIS interface. And we will leave that as true so that it will get added. All right, I think we're ready to give this a run and see if it works. Here we go. And we have an error over here. Let's see what that is. No bytes object has no attribute ends with. Okay, so I'm just going to check this. I think we, because we use this in code here, we need to decode it. And I'll just check how we do that real quick. Okay, and so what I've done here is I've made a little mistake. So see how we encoded the file name here? We encoded the directory here. What we need to do when we read the file name is do decode, not encode. So we'll type decode here. And now we should be able to run this. Let's click run. And we have another error. So we've got if file name ends with. Let me just check that one again also. Okay, and I think the problem here is this needs to be a small W, not a large W. Um, a lowercase, and let's click run. Okay, and now we have another error. Line 20, and it says, can't mix strings and bytes in path components. Okay, it's because we have an, an encoded file here and a decoded file here. So let me go ahead and fix that for us. And I think we should be able to do this with uh, os.fs decode. And we'll decode the directory and print that with the file name. So let me try that again. And then we have fn not defined in line 21. Let's see. And so it says, oh, and so this is a problem with our function. Um, this needs to be in fn in this function, not just fn. So that was a mistake made in a previous video. Got that fixed there. Let's click run. Hopefully this works now. Okay, so we're running. And you can see we've added a slope wrap, some slope rasters in here. We can click OK on this. Um, and now we've added in seven different slope rasters. So let's go ahead and close this and just take a look at these slope rasters. They're going to be a little bit different for each one. Um, so you can see here, which one's that? This one's our watershed only. So you can see it shows just the watershed outline. <clears throat> this one, I'm not sure which one this came from. This could have been from one of those strange looking ones that, that had some different values in it. This looks like a pretty normal slope raster for the DEM in the area. As does that one. As does that one. This one was from that really uh, coarsely gridded image we had. And that one looks like another pretty normal slope from the area. Okay, so you can see these all differ slightly, um, but we did calculate seven slope rasters pretty quickly. Let's make sure we had seven elevation files. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have seven slope files uh, to match. So that's an example of how you can use the things we've been doing to batch process uh, rasters with Python in QGIS. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions um, or any suggestions for future videos, please let me know.